It's the situation in the Iceland uh, very interesting at the moment. Everybody expects a uh, eruption and nothing is happening. We have a reservoir at the depth of the five kilometer and more under the sourcing power plant. It works according to the Professor Thorvald Thorvaldson as a, a tap practically leading the uh, sideway, the magma to erupt in the Sundunka crater area toward the south also of that, toward the Grindavik. And what we are seeing at the moment is that the GPS data point to different things. In the areas, for example, like what we have in the uh, Skipatsig Haron, which is actually a lava field, to the west side of the Zortsengi, complete pronounced rise in the GPS data just shows the land is inflated. We plot it on this chart and then we go for the Swartzengi, adjacent area to it. We see that the uplift of the land, which is toward the right, you can see the chart on that chart, is not as much as what it was in the previous one, Skipatsky Heron. So practically, uh, we show it with a different color, less red. Probably orange is more suitable for here. And if we go for a uh, area north of the sourcing call it uh, is called a north site that is similar to what we have in sourcing not as pronounced as the first one so we show it again on the map by the color code of orange these are not as much as what it was in the first place the magma rising an accumulation by the gps data shown here in millimeters of the land rise in the thorbjorn which is the most of the cameras are located is to the east side of the Swartzengi is a hill we don't see as much as what we saw in the Swartzengi in the previous site we show it by the yellow color so the magma accumulation there is not that much in that sense uh, or is not led from there to here so we go to the Grindavik which is the most important part that's the town which was evacuated after the dry eruption what I call as Gap was there, no magma to fill it up, no eruption. So only earthquake damage. We mark it again, like Thorbion, with the yellow box. And then we go toward the east mo more, and we see this uh, site, which is the Aswi site. And you can see that there is not much rise to the right side due to the magma accumulation. It's not much. If the land is just rising slightly just because what is happening in the West. We mark it by the uh, green sign here. It's a relatively safer area. And we go toward, uh, uh, now to plot everything on this uh, diagram, on this map, we start by the Skipatsigir Heron, and we go to Swartzengi and the Thorbjorn and Grindavik. We mark them by the relative amount of the uplift. They're reducing. We have the added bonus of an Eldwarp uh, GPS station to the west of the all these sites that we have. And this is quite showing that the magma is rising in that area quite high. So when I plot that also with a rectangle, and then according to the color code, I again paint those zones, you will see that what is uh, here, and again I'm showing the animation of those marked zones, and again showing the colored zones, they define the outline of the rift valley in that area. As you can see here, this is the rift valley. We started in the November 2023 with that. Uh, Armand Khosholtson believes that the, the Eldwarp is actually maybe the next eruption, the volcanic system awakening after what we have in the Swartzengi area. So no Krisovic or anything at the moment, he believes that this will be an Eldwarf, where we have the magma accumulation, according to what I have shown you here. We have the land rising, but no eruption, no lateral movement of the magma toward the Sunduka craters, which actually has the cracks. We have the old the historical craters and cracks. There is no eruption in that area because the magma has not moved laterally toward there. I go back to that cartoon animation, as you can see here. Swartzengi area is inflating. Magma is accumulating there. But there is no lateral flow of it, as are shown in those diagrams, 
toward the Sunnuka craters where it can erupt actually. So I don't, in my opinion, I don't think there will be eruption soon until probably the next uh, uh, week when we have the near the full moon. So the tide may affect it. I invite you to watch some of these pretty pictures. Nothing to do with the Iceland eruptions, recent eruptions. These are artificial intelligence created. When we describe in text uh, the situation in the uh, Iceland with the volcanic eruption in the Reykjanes Peninsula, artificial intelligence created these images. They are not representing the factual things on the ground.